<laughs> so we've got uh, uh, crankshafts on either end of the engine. Each crankshaft is driving a separate camshaft so that we have the flexibility to um, adjust uh, during the development program. The uh, exhaust cam is actuating a sleeve that controls the exhaust flow out of the engine. It uh, actuates through a rocker arm against a valve spring in exactly the same manner as people use for a poppet valve. It's just that instead of the shape of the poppet valve being in a traditional cylinder head, we're using the cylinder wall itself as the valve um, uh, to control that motion. Because yeah, ordinarily be a valve, the valve would be like a flap and it would open and close to let in air and fuel or let it exhaust. Well, it's, it's kind of not a uh, flap, but it's a, um, it uses the same sort of um, two metal pieces uh, in a sort of tapered relationship to cause sort of high surface uh, forces to make mm -hmm. the um, a gas tight seal. And that same uh, metal to metal seal mechanism is used for both this sleeve valve mm -hmm. and the poppet right. valve. Um, the poppet valve um, ends up having to be a separate element than the cylinder wall and we're uh, as I said, in many cases, the cylinder wall uh, is already made up of a separate iron insert, and we're just making that be movable instead of stationary as it is in most engines. Now, show how it works in the, because we have the internal here, how it would, uh, what so, might be going on inside. So, in this particular case, we're looking at the inlet side, and we have the... Um, uh, the piston that would be running inside the cylinder. But the function of the cylinder is both to um, uh, support the piston as well as control the air motion in and out. So as the normal valve timing would call for the intake valve to open, our cam and rocker system lift the valve up off of this tapered seat mm -hmm. and allow air and fuel, in our case, to be sucked in through this large opening mm -hmm into the uh, cavity formed uh, between these two pistons. And then as the two pistons reach their, the bottom of their travel, where the cam allows the valve spring to push the sleeve back against the seat, seal making a gas up. tight seal again. Excellent. Yeah, and the spring, would up, the spring would actually position it back in That's right. to seal it up and then release it again, okay. Right. And so the, the same thing is used on the exhaust side of the engine. So we use one sleeve for intake valve and one sleeve for exhaust. And that's sort of convenient with these opposed piston. You can separate the function easily. 